The Brian Burns contract saga is over. After a year of not being able to get him a contract extension, the Carolina Panthers have traded Brian Burns to the New York Giants for a brick from the Empire State Building, a Statue of Liberty snow globe, and one of those I Love NY t-shirts. Nah, but for real, the Panthers are actually getting a second round and fifth round draft pick, which like is okay, that's good draft capital, but it gets even worse when you understand that we turned down not one, not two, but three first round picks from the Los Angeles Rams over the past two seasons for Brian Burns. If we weren't gonna extend him, our Ourselves, why didn't we trade him during the season? Brian Burns was one of the most sought after players during the trade deadline. We could have gotten a lot more value than what we got. Why did we wait until our backs were up against the wall where our contract talks were going nowhere? We couldn't afford to pay Brian Burns and the Giants offer was the only one we could take or we let him walk for nothing. Like that was our options. Why did we wait so long? I do not understand. I'm really as happy as could be for Brian Burns because like he did everything he could do. He played during contract talks. He never complained. He never whined. He was a trooper. And now he's getting out of this trash organization. It's not like he's going to a great roster or even a competent organization, but it's a whole lot better than what he's been in for the entirety of his career. And make matters better, he's getting paid. He's getting a crisp five-year, $150 million deal. I do not understand why the Panthers waited this thing out so long. I mean, they literally waited to do what? Franchise tag Spider and send him to the Giants for half the value we could have gotten out of LA? I'm not upset that we're losing Brian Burns because, like, this happens. I actually expected this. But it's the fact that we played with fans' emotions. Don't say that, oh, we want we want Brian to be a Panther forever when you don't. Just, like, just be real. Say we're working on a contract deal. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, you know? Like, the stagnation, the waiting around, the playing with emotions. I don't want to put all the blame on Dan Morgan because it's not all his fault, but some of the blame has to go on him. He didn't do a good job working with Brian Burns over this offseason. He did not make Brian Burns a priority. However, Scott Fittera is the real culprit of this crime. Scott Fittera acted like we had a deal done last summer. Must we remember during training camp? Oh yeah, we're so close. We are getting Brian Burns an extension. We are getting him the money he deserves. I mean, like, Scott Fittera is a freaking nutcase. We weren't even close. And that is a creation from David Tepper. David Tepper's an idiot. Scott Fittera sucks. And now Dan Morgan and Ijera Ivero, they have their work cut out for him. I really feel bad for Ivero as he's taking a massive risk to stay on as defensive coordinator. Like he's putting his career on the line. Brian Burns, go be great New York, son. Do your thing and make us proud. I'm so sorry. <laughs>